people sometimes ask me if I like uh, Christian music. If they could hear you people sing, they would like it too. I don't think there's anything sounds better than a bunch of people singing slightly out of tune all together. <laughs> Which is the reason I uh, think I became a Christian musician. I think the thing I loved about church when I was a little kid was that in Indiana where I grew up, men didn't sing except in church and and they sang terribly when they got there and, and they sang real loud and I thought it was cool that you could go to church and do what you do the worst and do it as loud as you wanted <laughs> my friends at all you, know, you go to parties on Saturday night and about 8 o'clock on Sunday morning you'd go oh man I gotta get going and they'd say why and I'd say I gotta go to church and they'd say, well, what do you want to go to church with all them hypocrites for? And I'd say, well, what do I want to stay here with all you hypocrites for? <laughs> saying you're a hypocrite is about like saying you're alive. We all want people to think better of us than they have reason to. I didn't know why going to church made you a hypocrite anyway. And they'd say, well, you go to church, you're a holy, holy, holy for a couple hours a week, and then you go home and sin. I'd say, exactly. For a couple hours a week, you're doing pretty good. Maybe the problem isn't that you go to church. Maybe the problem is that you, you leave. Going to church is not a profession of being good or saintly. Going to church is a confession of our need to come together and to recognize that until Christ comes back, until Christ has finished his work in our lives, we need each other, folks. Don't matter whether you live in Colombia or Guatemala, Thailand, New Mexico, where we need each other.